90% of the town had taken Jebediah's miracle potion by the time they dragged Henry out of the Black Hawk Tavern, his mirror smashed on the floor. He'd only managed to get one of the townsfolk to look into it before his capture, and it didn't matter because everyone had a bottle handy. As they dragged Henry up the street, people left their homes and came to watch. Even Naomi Beckett watched from her porch. She was bemused that the man she'd dated just a month ago was about to be killed by the town, but it didn't hurt her. Nothing had hurt her since she had cut her finger instead of a bagel, and Doris Freeman had given her a shot at Jebediah. As she watched the street, she couldn't watch Lance. And so Lance picked up his mother's ladder and walked out the back door, down the hill beyond the house. He had burned off all the fingers on his left hand already, and his mother hadn't even noticed it. It had been a magical time. He sat in the alley behind Hackstrom's gas station and lit the oil soaked rags that had been tossed out. He watched them flare to life and gave his melodic laugh. The world was his playground, and he would watch it burn. Pardon me, sir. I didn't mean to bother you, but you look like you got a bit of arthritis, am I right? Oh, Lance, I just knew it! I got a touch of it myself. Got it years ago playing too much rugby. Uh, what's that? You played rugby in college yourself? What an amazing coincidence, perhaps. It was fate that drew us here today. Then tell me, does your arthritis flare up in these cold winter evenings? Lance, yes, mine does too. I tell you, it burns so much. It burns... well, like the town of Hickory burned. Oh, yes, sir, I understand that the Oakdale Fire Brigade is much better than Hickory's was. No way, they let 147 people burn to death. No, sir. You're right about that. Uh, you know, sir, you remind me a bit of my father, God rest him. It's your smile, I think. So let me tell you a secret. I have a friend back in Washington, and he's a chemist. Makes all kinds of things for the government. You know, like those plastic insoles for shoes for when your feet are out of whack. What's that? You wear them too? Lance, what a small world. I, I tell you, this friend I got, he told me that he mixed himself up a concoction to help with the pain. Uh, did I tell you he lost an arm when a drunk hit him? Oh yeah, it was painful for some time, but now he's just fine and dandy. He says to me, he goes, the government don't want no one knowing about this, but I've got a cure for pain. I says, a cure for what? And he says, pain. I can make it go away. Of course, I don't believe him, but he sends me some of it. He says he'd patent it, but the government would arrest him on the spot. So it gives me the recipe instead. I've got a small bottle of it here. You want to try it for your old arthritis? See, what did I tell you? The pain is gone. Indeed, I think you could run a marathon good, sir. Uh, what's that? Why, yes, that's perfect. Jeopardize Miracle Potion would make a wonderful name for it.